My name is Sarah Mohammed, and I'm an associated expert with CIJ and the researcher and co-author of the fact sheet. This report is important because it takes a deeper dive into understanding how intersecting social inequities impact health, education, housing, employment, socioeconomic status, and criminalization in Europe. It's important to understand that social, institutional, and legal systems are interlinked and what we can do to support social justice. What I feel is the most relevant intersectional issue in Europe is addressing the legacy of colonial hierarchies that perpetuate social and structural inequities both within Europe and within the current and former colonies. This has resulted in xenophobia, the marginalization of Indigenous, Black, and people of color, Roma communities, people of non-Christian backgrounds, women, trans, and non-binary communities, and so many other communities who have been identified as inferior within the colonial lens. A very real example of this is happening right now within the coronavirus pandemic in Europe. Diverse communities are differently impacted because of access to healthcare, access to social supports, access to safe housing, and even access to secure employment and the ability to self-isolate. These social inequities are not accidental and they're directly rooted in colonial hierarchies. My hope for the future is that intersectional frameworks can be adopted to change laws, policies, programs, and service provision practices across public, private, and nonprofit sectors. My hope is also that everyone can take a look at their role in either upholding or combating discrimination.